Good day, learners. Our topic is about relating impulse and momentum to the collision of objects. Are you ready? Let us begin. Consider a moving bicycle and a car, which of the two will be difficult to stop? Of course it is the car, because it has greater mass and, possibly, has been moving faster. Moreover, we can say that the car has greater momentum. But, what is momentum? Momentum is the quantity of motion in an object. All moving objects have momentum. It is denoted by the small letter P and can be expressed as the product of mass and velocity. Mass of objects and those moving at high velocity have great momentum. Going back to this scenario, we can stop either of the two vehicles by exerting force within a given period of time. We can exert force through brakes, which in turn changes the velocity, resulting in a change in momentum. The force we exert within a given period of time to change the momentum is called impulse. Impulse causes the change in momentum it may increase or decrease the momentum of an object within a given period of time. The change in momentum is equal to the impulse, which is the product of force and time. Impulse can be experienced during a collision. It determines the strength and the duration of a collision. Collision is an event where two or more bodies exert forces on each other within a given period of time. We experience collision in our everyday life like collision of molecules, collision of vehicles, and collision of a bat and a ball. Let Let us consider a collision between a bat and a ball. As the bat hits the ball, the ball gains velocity, hence, the impulse of the bat on the ball increases the ball's momentum. To maximize this change in momentum, the batter should hit the ball with a great force within a time interval long enough for the ball to move fast. Now let us look on the collision of our feet and the ground as we jump from an elevated place. We can jump with either legs bent or straight. By doing any of these, we have the same impulse to make our velocity zero when we reach the ground, resulting to a decrease in momentum. Even though the impulse is the same when jumping in any manner, we usually jump with bent legs. Bending our legs prolong the time of collision with the ground, thus, the force dissipates. For example, with legs straight you can reach the ground within 2 seconds experiencing a force of 200 newton. On the other hand, with legs bent, the impulse is still the same, but you can reach the ground within 4 seconds experiencing only a force of 100 newton. Our next example is the collision of a brick and a hand. Let us analyze how can a karate expert break a brick with just bare hands. Momentum decreases as the karate expert brings his hand to stop within a short period of time. This short time of execution makes the force of impact large, which can break the brick. From those situations, we can see that the bodies involved experience the same impulse during a collision. Still, it doesn't mean that they are experiencing the same amount of force over the same time interval. Let us apply what we have learned. Consider the collision between a truck and a car. Which do you think will incur greater damage? Even though both vehicles experience the same force, but opposite in direction, and same impulse, the car will be greatly damaged. The car has a shorter crumple zone to absorb some of the energy during the impact while the truck has a longer crumple zone. Thus, the force it experiences dissipates. Moreover, the car will experience a greater change in velocity. In summary, we have learned that momentum is the amount of motion within a body. The momentum of an object may change due to impulse when force is exerted on that body within a specific period of time. Impulse happens every collision of objects. Collision is an event where two or more bodies exert forces with one another for a given period of time. There will be an evaluation of your understanding of the lesson. Are you ready? Let's start.
multiple choice, select the correct answer, each body involved in a collision experiences the same change in blank, A. Impulse, B. Momentum, C. Collision, D. Acceleration. The correct answer is B. Momentum. Multiple choice, select the correct answer. Which of the following has the greatest momentum? A. A 250 grams bullet moving at 100 meters per second. B. A 800 kilograms car moving at 60 kilometers per hour. C. A 1 kilogram ball moving at 5 meters per second. D. A 1000 kilograms truck at rest. The correct answer is B. A 800 kg car moving at 60 km per hour. Multiple choice, select the correct answer. A boxer moved away from the punch to increase the duration of impact twice. What will happen to the force of impact? A. The force of impact will become zero. B. The force of impact will remain the same. C. The force of impact will be half of what it would have been. D. The force of impact will be twice greater than it would have been. The correct answer is C. The force of impact will be half of what it would have been. Multiple choice, select the correct answer. Why do you think it is better to hit a haystack than a wall? A. Because impulse is higher during the collision with a haystack than the collision with a wall, b. Because impulse is lower during the collision with a haystack than the collision with a wall, c. Because the time is prolonged during the collision with a haystack, thus, the force dissipates, d. Because the time is shortened during the collision with a haystack, thus, the force dissipates. The correct answer is C. Because the time is prolonged during the collision with a haystack, thus, the force dissipates. Multiple choice, select the correct answer. Which of the following statements is true? A. Each object involved in a collision experiences different change in momentum. B. Each object involved in a collision experiences different force. C. Each object involved in a collision experiences the same impulse, d. Each object involved in a collision has the same momentum. The correct answer is c. Each object involved in a collision experiences the same impulse. How many correct answers did you get? If you got all correct answers you are doing great. If you got some incorrect answer, don't worry, you can rewatch this video to review in which question did you get wrong. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell, so you never miss a new video. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below with any feedback or suggestions for future videos. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you in the next one.